thing itself when marxism actually when marx put forward uh, his uh, analysis of the uh, society uh, and the program of the communist party actually in the capital uh, in 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 capital itself marx has mentioned very clearly that along with the labor the nature is also a source of profit for capital so now capital is actually demolishing uh, two sources of existence that was smart said in capital one is one source of human existence is capital labor the other source of human existence is nature so both the sources of human existence are demolished by are taken away by capital this was what marx said and it was uh, actually engels book on dialectics of nature this dialectics of nature has clearly explained what historically happened in all over the country how what happened in asia minor what happened to tropical forests in africa and uh, the asian countries and how colonialism expanded how capital uh, in the mad pursuit of this uh, profit how it destroyed uh, tropical forests and how what happened to nature everything is clearly explained by engels in the dialectics of nature I, what happened was that this was not taken properly by the communists for example engels book on dialectics of nature was actually published only by uh, only in two, 2000 uh, after lenin's death before lenin this book was not known to all or nobody even though engels written had written this book in the 1880s during that period because engels was busy with mars because mars died and after mars death Engels was busy with uh, completing the works of publishing the works of Marx. Therefore, he had no time. Therefore, he entrusted this uh, his manuscript of Dialectics of Nature with uh, uh, Bernstein, the leader of the Second International. Yeah, yeah. We know that Bernstein is uh, having little interest in producing this book because this book is directly attacking corporate. Uh, at that time, it is capital, yeah. and Bernstein's position is different. Therefore, he uh, found a little interest. But uh, compared with the present-day revisionists, <laughs> so-called uh, social democrats, he did one important thing. He kept it, and he handed over this manuscript to Einstein. Einstein handed over this manuscript to world-famous scientist Einstein, and Einstein gave it to Rizanov, a, a Russian uh, publisher. And it was Rizanov who published it in my memory. It was published in 1927, something like that. a primary edition and it was later that is in 1930 the after 35 that is something like that the full uh, edition of that book came and the forward introduction forward to that book dialectics of nature was written by jbs halde world famous scientist and halde said that this book if we got it earlier many of our understanding of nature and many of our understanding of uh, how to approach it, Uh, science how to approach development would have been different so that was a, this, now today we are experienced when so marxism has already pointed out this like the caste question in india marx has already pointed out it but it is a mechanical materialist the so called <laughs> so called communist whom ambakar called the amin boys abandoned it they said that when we <laughs> when capture power casteism will be over in the same way these people uh, never take took up this question so what has happened was that we in the name of this uh, development we followed the capitalist model of development in russia also what has happened in the 30s in the name of catching up with the west catching up with the west even under uh, when comrade salin was uh, of course comrade salin had done much great service he contributions to the world people communist movement advancement of communist movement in african and asia of africa all that american country stalin's contribution is very important but at the same time during the 30s stalin had invited american experts and he said the american efficiency yeah. foundations of leninism in that book stalin has uh, eulogized the praised the american efficiency so that means uh, this is capitalist efficiency this is uh, this is uh, this fordist model of development fordist model of development everything is implicit in it so it was in it was uh, it, it was transplanted to russia in the name of advancing in the name of increasing productive forces developed 
So what happened was that the communists actually lacked an alternative model of development. In the Soviet Union, actually what happened was that their repetition of, their copying of the same model of development that pursued by the imperialist capitalist powers. And uh, Mao Zedong has pointed out this. Mao Zedong, while in his book on uh, a critique of Soviet economics, that a book was written by Mao. In that book, Mao pointed out this question. And in while addressing the uh, meeting of the Politburo of the Communist Party, Chinese Communist Party, Mao made a speech, a very long speech on 10 relationships. Yeah, yeah. What are the light industry, heavy industry, and uh, agriculture and industry? Uh, so, uh, many, many uh, lo local development and centralized development. So, 10 major relationships, Mao said, how a, a pro people development can be pursued. But that was abandoned. But what happened is that it is not Marxist question, it is the way in which the so called Marxist implemented it. So, Marxism actually took this question very early. And it, it is, it has been in the case of many other questions, it could not be pursued. Therefore, CPM and Russia, in the context of our analysis of the world situation and in the context of our analysis of the Indian situation, we uh, pursued this question in detail and we said that today, without taking up this question of ecology, without taking up the question of environment, it is, it is because it's a crucial, it is one of the central political questions today, the question of climate, the question of environmental issue. So, only by taking that question now, we along with other questions, we can move forward. Therefore, along with the major contradictions, along with the major contradictions, uh, like the capital and labor, contradiction between capital and labor, contradiction between among imperialist powers, contradiction between imperialism and world people. So, among such contradictions, this Contradiction between capital and nature is also a major contradiction that is we accepted in 19, 2011. CPM and 11th Congress, uh, sorry, 9th Congress held in 2011 upheld this. It is in the program. So we are pursuing that since then. So this is not a new thing and probably CPM and Russia is the only communist party who's in, in the program of which you find that uh, along with other contradictions, a fifth contradiction, contradiction between capital and nature is also incorporated to take this uh, issue in the proper perspective. So that is why I said that it is a political question. Climate question is a political question. It is not a technical question today. Okay. Okay.